now we will test the implementation in anypoint studio so once it's successful we can deploy the project to the cloud hub using runtime manager so let's test it locally now i have opened the anypoint studio so this is the implementation we did so all the flows are there the routing so before starting before running the project we will see the configurations of this http listener so if you go and check this http listener here so here there is a connector configuration is created so let's open this edit so you can see this port is 8081 and all interfaces so it will host is 000 it will accept all the requests so port number is 8081 i'll change it to 8091 and uh, we can test it if there is a port is already used here so it will give error so i change this to 8091 so if i test it so if the port is already using by other application so it will not be allowed us to uh, use this port so in that case we'll use choose the other port here let's check that it's giving success or unsuccessful so this port is already used so it's giving the address you can see address already in use so we we'll use the other one, other port now i'll use 8091 and again test connection here so test connection successful so this configuration is fine now i put it okay and other things if you go to http listener again and you can see the path is slash api slash star so it is adding the slash api when you are doing the api kit implementation using api kit so after the this takes as a base path now okay api star so other things uh, api kit router so if you can check the routing configuration you can go to edit here so these are the configuration by default you keep it as it is whatever it is whatever it is you keep the same configuration here so it's checking api definition is whatever we did okay, payment api dot raml okay then the configuration file it's the configuration file name okay next i uh, will see the console so here this console you can see this console helps to the test the api so this also we can check here so this is taking the same raml everything is same here next we'll go to the other part so we have checked this uh, transformation component so it's giving the default messages so currently actual implementation we haven't done here it giving the actual response here if you do it here so it should support if you use the database locally here so when i deploy it to cloud hub so cloud hub should support cloud hub should call the database so whenever we have visibility of database anything so we can use implementation and deploy to cloud hub then that cloud hub when we are in cloud hub that will not access our local database so if you implement here also it will not access the our database so i am kept keeping as it is now so to show properly how this works complete life cycle works so uh, just i'm whatever i'm just uh, saving it we haven't changed anything we changed only one thing that is a port number that i'm saving here this http listener port here so i'm running it here now so just run project api implementation you can have debug also if you want to debug and put breakpoints here like you can put a breakpoints here add breakpoint that time we can add debug to analyze any errors so i'm running it now just i'm running it this project so you can watch this console here mule home set to this
so if your no errors are there in the project it will properly deploy and show status as deployed okay now you can see this status is deployed so everything is proper now in the application no errors are there so when it does the running it started running here in the server mule server so in the left hand side you can see this api console get opened here so you can see now this is the console here open console that is enabled because of this api kit console see here open so the url url is http localhost then 8091 that is the http port we given the same port it uses whatever you given here http the same port this console also uses this console see if you open this console so the same http port it will uses wherever here so now here i'll open the console here so that is opening now so when it opens you can see now whatever the endpoints and all the resources you can see it here everything so this is the endpoint for this when it's running it's showing this api so i'll just click this get method and try it so card then i'll send it so you can get the response like this from here and post also same thing the same operation we did when we are working in the design center in exchange so here so bad request so here bad request means here there is no body we put it so if you op copy and paste that body so here uh, whatever body you will paste it then it will give the proper reason now you are sending the wrong body here there is no body here so that we can add it here so get id so id if you add id here so then you will get the see here try it we will add id so one then send so we get the response like this so it allow you to test this api implementation here so it is showing the same result what we tested in the exchange because we use the same thing whatever the response generated uh, automatically that only we are using we haven't uh, done any transformation routing other methods we not used in the real scenario business scenario if you are a real business scenario that step is we have to do it properly so you can use multiple components here in the toolkit and do it now this part we are clear now so we using api console we test it and we got a response so this part once it's done here so we get to know that okay it's working in local so next step is we have to deploy it into the uh, cloud hub so only for development purpose we use this anypoint studio and we do it in locally so all this higher environment uat production so we will push it to the cloud hub using the runtime manager so we will see that in the next lecture